G'day, it's Jack out of the back here. So, today's plans have been messed up a little bit by the rain. But that's always a good thing. I was going to go for a fly and check our water points, but due to the weather, I, I canned that idea. So, today I'm just going to work on tidying up the workshop, which is one of my good rainy day jobs. And I'm going to get a bit more gear and equipment ready so I can head out tomorrow. But while I've got the truck here in the workshop, I'm going to um, work on the aircon and put on the ring feeder so we can use it for a little bit more. So she's been backing down now for close to half an hour, so we should be pretty good. Just gonna undo her so we can connect the rapid fix straight to it. First time using a rapid fix on an aircon, so it could be interesting. see how this goes. Well that's not very dramatic. Um, feels like we're empty. Still have a vacuum. It's good.
workshop's just a little bit tidier. The max aircon's cold. And I've got the gear there to throw this new ring feeder straight onto the back of it. The weather's come good. I'm gonna go for a fly now and check over the station. So I've just landed here because I saw that the dipstick was down. So I'm just gonna walk over and check it out, see why. Hopefully it's just stuck down. Flying to check our water points saves us so much time. It usually take two and a half or three days just to get around the place. But now with the plane, we're doing it around two and a half to three hours. And we uh, slowly 
getting that time down to less and less as we get more camera units out there it means there are more sites that we don't have to actually physically fly over so we can just check it from our phone and go there only if there's a problem yeah so she's still got water it's just our dipstick she's stuck down got a bit of poly to give her a poke I'm glad that was a simple fix, but it's a good opportunity to get out and have a stretch. Well, looks like I'll taxi down to the other end. Right, with that flight over, we've just cracked our 700 hours, so time to do a service on her. gonna drop the oil out of her and to do that you undo this little safety wire we'll put a new one on when we finish the service now we've got our length for the new piece which we can cut while she's draining
right, so that's only a little bit of our oil because it's a Rotax. You've got to do what's called burping it. And you'll understand when you hear it. You can hear over the flies. The keys are out and the magnetos are turned off so there's no way that it can possibly start on me. There's our burp. Now I'm fairly confident that she is now empty. So she's done up firm. Just while we do everything else, I'm gonna slip the cap back on to keep it clean. While we move to the other side. Now, this I don't like. Where it is, is it'll leak onto the cooler at the front and dribble down here. So after each service, it's not a bad thing go over and give her a little bit of a wash and a degrease. It's just good practice. So being on the side makes it pretty awkward for when we go to throw the new one on. But it also makes filling him entertaining just because you've got to make sure that you burp her through but also that you put your little bit of oil on the top of it. You are going to have some spillage so that's why it's always good to have the bucket there. All right, so the GoPro overheated yet again, but I've done him up tight, done the safety back up. I've done the two spark plugs on the other side. So we're onto this side now. Blow them just a little bit, just to make sure I haven't got any dust or anything in around there. Every 150 hours, we're changing the plugs. Just firm. You can see that little bit of dust there that's come off as I've dragged her out. Take the 
caps off. Replace our lead. Make sure that they're all the way home. We're happy. Five hundred mil of this one. And then we'll do a quick burp. So again, we're out of the line. Keys are out. Magnetos are off. just on the base of the stick and dip it again around halfway so we can put another 50 or 100 mils in Now that it's settled throughout the engine, we should be able to just do a quick dip as we had oil and not worry about it suddenly going higher. There we go. So there we are. <clears throat> just time to put everything back together. We'll see if the GoPro overheats. So the GoPro's overheated, we're onto the phone. <clears throat> so we're up to the halfway mark. Got him pinched. Lock him in the back. Start the twist. Then you let that go. Grab him for another round. And see it's twisting up nicely in there. Unlock it. Now we go through the process of weaving it through the hole that we have in there. We get those two together. Do the same thing again. <clears throat> Got the plane done. You missed out on the last little bit, but it's just the same as taking it off. I've got the aircon going in the Mac, so I'm pretty happy with that. Gonna sort out the ring feeder on it, so it's more useful to us here. That's gonna happen in the next few days. But for now, I'm just looking forward to having a nice cold beer. And uh, it's quite fortunate that mine has been kept cool in this vintage Tom's Brook stubby holder.